Do you want to know what the best settings are for Apex Legends console? Well, I have them right here in this video. Let's do it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, guys, where I provide you all the tips, tricks, and guides to improve your gameplay in Apex Legends. Okay, today I have my settings video. I've been asked about this, what my settings are and why they keep changing or what has changed since the previous seasons. So today I'm going to break down my settings for you guys and show you which settings you should use in Apex Legends Season 5. Just as a reminder, guys, if you have any questions about this video, I do stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday over on Twitch. The link is going to be down in the description below. All right, guys, so we're back with my settings for Season 5. A lot has changed since Season 4 and Season 3 and since the release of Season 5. So let's just hop right into my settings. So as far as gameplay, I'm not going to go through and break all of these down, um, which ones that we should be using, which ones we should not be using. Um, you guys should know a lot about these already. Uh, so in interact prompt style combat button hints on crosshair damage has not changed i always do stacking because this allows you to see how much total damage you have done to see how low somebody actually is again if you use floating um if you use floating what this does is just stack each individual damage or each individual hit just floats on up so you're not going to know the total it's a lot easier on stacking to be like, oh, hey, that guy's one shot or I cracked a shield and dealt 70 flesh or whatever it is. So uh, definitely go with stacking on that one, guys. Uh, the ping opacity, keep it as default. Don't need to fade it. Obituaries on. I like to see who's in the kill feed, but that's totally up to you. Mini map rotation, I leave this off. Weapon auto cycle, I went about this in another video, which I'm going to link above uh, on how to uh, weapon swap effectively. But turn this on for God's sakes, turn it on. All right, auto sprint off. I never knew even knew why this was put into the game. Um, unless you're having joystick issues, this is the only benefit I could see for this, but turn that off. Double tap to sprint, definitely turn that off. Now, incoming damage feedback. I used to have this on 3D, but I think the 2D just makes it a little bit easier to read, especially when you're in like a high intense gunfight. So I do 2D. Uh, taking damage on death box. Uh, this is this is nice uh if you're used to like looting too much or you're not good at when you know you're being shot to hop out of the box that you're looting and then engage in the fight run heal whatever you need to do if you have trouble with that turn this on i just have it on because i think it's better it, it, it saves you those split seconds of decision making where oh it brought me out of the box because i was looting that's because i'm being shot so definitely turn this one on guys streamer mode if you're a streamer you can go through this i like to keep it off um i always keep used to say sharing on for respawn so they can make a you know collect data and make the game better we hope colorblind off subtitles off subtitle size normal and uh, enable accessible chat features off convert incoming text off all right controller the bread and butter guys so stick layout is default it's been default since i started playing this game uh and i haven't changed it interact and reload tap to use uh to use and reload it just makes it easier you don't have to hold it sometimes that can take too long and you can lose valuable seconds when you're trying to do that crouch toggle this used to be on hold for me when they changed the whole bunny hopping um if you use this with hold then it allows you to uh, bunny hop after they nerfed it but now since bunny hopping is kind of back go back to toggle aim i use hold never toggle R2 and L2 dead zones are default uh, unless your your buttons are really sticky or something like that and you're having issues then you can turn this up but mine's on default menu cursor speed this one just like sensitivity we're about to get into is totally user based so mine is halfway between the second bar where default is this is just such a good spot like when you loot a box if you slightly press your joystick down you can see all the important stuff and you can just grab something and go so uh this is going to be totally based on you man um you know you're going to have to mess with this in the middle of a game i would suggest doing a pub game or something like that and kind of mess with this to figure out what you like but if you guys want to use mine it's halfway between the default icon now the most important part of this video sensitivity everybody's sensitivity is going to be completely different uh mine has changed since season one uh i've said it before i've gone from four four to six 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 four six three uh five three 
so uh, and and all of that was being changed based on recurve or response recurve and then look dead zones and then if i wanted to do the advanced look controls and do that or if i was using linear you know all of that changed but i think i found my bread and butter sweet spot um is look sensitivity is five ads is four this look sensitivity allows you to move back and forth up and down just enough when you're running away to make quick looks without missing anything and the ads sensitivity i think four is just perfect it's right above default and right below very high the reason for this is because uh people move very fast in apex legends guys they move fast and i think at high you should if you can track well you can track them pretty good and you should be able to win a lot more gunfights and be a lot more accurate per optic settings i have this off if you guys want to go through and go oh well i like when i use a times three to have it a little bit higher then feel free to mess with that but i like mine to match my sensitivities perfectly um response curve is classic okay i've gone steady and i've done linear those are the only three that i've done steady makes it a little bit tighter so if you're going to do uh steady i would advise increasing look and ads sensitivities linear this is pure input okay what this means is any joystick movements there's nothing that's added on it's pure move okay pure move on the joystick there's nothing added on to it okay this is something um i know a lot of pros use over on pc they'll put it on linear and just you know go with that so it's kind of more like a mouse and keyboard okay uh, i like mine on classic though look dead zone is small um i don't advise changing this unless you're sitting there and your controller is just kind of drifting off then increase it as you need to movement dead zone same thing uh inverted look if you're freaking a psycho if you play inverted vibration always off guys and then advanced look controls off video not much has changed here field of view should be at max brightness is standard and then minimal shake view if you especially if you have motion sickness guys get rid of that audio 100 171 151 i like the music now uh but otherwise disable voice chat and incoming voice chat both off guys all right guys that's going to do it for my season five best console settings both for xbox and playstation all right if you guys want to use my settings feel free let me know if you do down in the comment section or what your sensitivities and what kind of stuff changes for you since the start of season five if you have any questions about this video guys i do stream every friday saturday and sunday over on twitch the link is going to be down in the description below i really hope this video helped you out guys and if it did make sure to drop a like that really does help the channel out and if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button guys turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on future apex guide videos and as for me warlog stay gaming guys i'll see you in the next one peace